I think I made my opinion clear in regards to the Gateway Nikola. I didn't like its flat shape and also confused by its random movement pattern as well as the purpose of having a cat attached to it. All jokes aside about its design, I do have to say that I personally have a strong preference for larger and wider wheels such as my 9BOT Z10 or the Gotway Monster. However, even I have to admit to the fact that their instances where a smaller and more maneuverable wheel have its advantage, such as being more beginner friendly. So will the other new contender in the 16 inch electric unicycle feel change my mind? Because this week we'll get the chance to demo the Kingstown 16X. Roll the intro! Singing this song, I see I was wrong. To chain you down, I was the clown. I'm singing this song, I see I was wrong. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. So if you're someone who's looking to get into the electric unicycle world, then the 16X should be on your shortlist. Reason being that King Song had always had a reputation for better quality builds and their wheel also tend to be more conservative in regards to performances and safety margin. Again, things you should be looking for starting out. So the King Song 14D and its larger battery cousin, the 14S, had for a long time been the go-to wheel when it comes to learning how to ride an electric unicycle, often with the advice that you ought to buy these wheels used so you can beat them up during the learning process and once you get more comfortable, upgrade to a larger and more capable wheel. However, a beat up 14D is not a particularly inspiring start to a sport you want to get excited about and the resale market in your area might not be sufficiently active for you to be able to find a 14D or S easily. If that's the case and you're thinking about getting a wheel that's a little bit more capable but still fit the easy to learn and easy to maneuver category, the 16X from King Son seemed to fit that bill exactly. So engineering and reliability had always been King Son's strong suit. But design on the other hand was in my opinion its Achilles heel. Here is the King Song 14S, the 16S, and the 18X. As you can tell they all essentially look the same, just scaled to a different size. The same predictable tapered disc shape bear a close resemblance to the now ancient 9BOT1 from 2014. Now I got nothing against it and it seems to be the obvious thing to do with an early iteration of a product, simple form that speak to its purpose. <laughs> But it's now 2019 and Kingsan is a mature company with a global following. More importantly, we as an electric unicycle ridership had also grown both in number as well as sophistication. And in my opinion, the refresh on the 16X represented Kingsan's response to this new marketplace. And in many ways, I think it's a more appropriate evolution than the attempt from Godway in the form of the Nikola. So like you, I watched all the demo review videos obsessively and had always been curious about how they work. And if you're new to the EUC world, there's no sponsorship and none of us get paid aside from the privilege of riding the latest and the greatest wheel, which is awesome. And this review represents only my own strange opinion and does not represent any sort of official endorsement from either e Wheel or King Song for that matter. And if you don't like something I said, or the way my helmet looks, that's what the comment sections are for. One of the first thing you notice about the 16X is its shape. It's the beginning of a shift away from the last generation of tapered disc design and the change isn't just limited to its shape, all the detailing on this wheel also follow the same cue and take on a much more angular profile, including the handles on the top. 
Although I wish they had pushed the angular motif further, the wheels still look sharp, muscular, and purposeful as compared to the older design. The other advantage over the round shape is space efficiency. The large battery pack these electric unicycles typically carries are usually squarish in shape. As a result, inside of a round case, there's usually a lot of wasted space. Now, by going with this taller hexagonal design, the uh, 16X is notably more compact than its predecessor. Its narrowness made it taller, same high as the larger 18XL, which does have some additional advantages. It elevates the more delicate control boards further away from the ground and water and provides a better position for the headlight. Finally, as compared to the uh, Nikola, the 16X feels substantially more compact, especially in the front to back direction. The tapering, especially on the upper portion of the case, also feel more substantial since it doesn't feel as boxy between your legs as the Nikola. It is also a much less conspicuous wheel given its matte black finish as well as front and back facing LED comparing to the uh, circular Ferris wheel light show you get on the uh, Nikola and its shiny white trim round case. Now the body on the InMotion as well as Nibot wheels does feel a little bit more refined especially when it comes to detailing and finishes. Unfortunately this is the price you have to pay when you're stepping up to a higher performance hoppiest grade wheel. First of all, let me remind you of the fact that my regular ride is the Nibot Z10. The reason why that is important is because the Z10 sports an unusual 4 inch wide tire and has riding characteristics more akin to an angry, angry bull on a very bad day. Now it is a unique and very controversial wheel. I personally enjoy the challenge of mastering and wrestling with a wheel in every single turn, but I fully understand that it's not a wheel for everyone. However, I just kind of want to let you know where I'm coming in from with my review. Now I had tried the 16 inch Gotway Nikola with its 3 inch wide tire, although proportionally it is close to the Z10, but as a result of its larger body, I felt somewhat disconnected to the wheel and did not enjoy the ride as much. Of course, this is also partly due to the fact that I am a pinch rider, as in I keep my knee against the upper portion of the wheel rather than let the body float partly to help better control the Z10, but I do know that there are people out there who ride with their feet as far out on the pedal as possible and likely won't be as bothered by uh, the larger kids as I would. The other trait I've gotten used to from riding the wider Z10 was tire profile. On the 2.5 inch wide Kingston 18XL, when I leaned the wheel to turn, once I got past a certain angle, the wheel all of a sudden felt like it's about to fall over and I had to pull back. The wider tire give you a bit more leeway to lean at a lower speed, which translates to a more maneuverable and stable wheel. Despite the taller pedal height, I can practically turn hard enough to drag the pedal on the ground. Maneuverability is helpful if you are planning to learn on this wheel as a large part of the learning process involves finding your balance through rapid corrections. Now this is a heavier wheel because of the larger capacity battery pack so that does work against you a bit but relative to the other wheels in its class in terms of top speed and range it does feel more nimble at a lower speed. The tall pedal height may also be slightly intimidating at first, but you'll appreciate them more once you get a bit better acquainted with this wheel. Unfortunately, I don't think a shorter but wider wheel will have as much stability as a larger diameter but thinner wheel at higher speed. 
Now, this is a controversial point and not everyone agree on this. However, the example I could think of are that road bike tend to have thinner tire while mountain bike have wider tire. And also from personal experience while riding larger diameter wheel, there's more of that sense of stability that is usually described as being on rail as compared to the sensation you get from riding a squatter but wider wheel. But I don't think anyone will disagree that if you are mainly interested in high speed stability, then an 18 or even a 22 inch wheel will likely serve you better. Now again, if you are new to electric unicycle, keep in mind that speed at 30 miles per hour or above are crazy fast. That's a full tuck on a road bike coming down a steep hill fast and for us will require ideal road condition proper motorcycle level protection gear including a full face helmet it is also speed that you will likely rarely ever need are able to reach in an urban environment safely Kingsong 16X will likely satisfy most, if not all, of your riding needs, and more casual riders will likely rarely, if ever, reach the limitation of its performance envelope. I never thought I was going to say this, but the 16X is as close to the riding feel of the Z10 as I have ever experienced on another electric unicycle. It had all the weighty stability and low speed maneuverability minus the wildness of the Z10. It is almost as if the Kingsong engineer had written the Z10 and said to themselves, okay, let's now make this into a wheel that everyone and anyone can ride and enjoy. And I think they created something special with the 16X. If I were to start in the electric unicycle world today, this would be the first wheel I buy. Oh hey, I wasted another chunk of your life and I hope you at least enjoyed it. As always, please leave your comments below, subscribe to my channel and like my videos and help me out and spread the word. I greatly appreciate it. Until the next video, Thank you.